Okay. You guys rolling? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. For 100,000 years now, humans have been dreaming and hoping for longevity. So it's quite a triumph today that so many of us will live to be 80 or 90 or even 100. And there's wonderful things to come of it. The chance to reinvent yourself, you learn to play the guitar when you're 90, to know your great-grandchildren, to perhaps articulate wisdom from a life uh, living through a whole century of time. Uh, but there's some problems too. How do we have a purpose in life? You know, last year we had almost 50 million retirees and they watched on average of 49 hours of television a week. What for? What is the purpose of being a 70 or 80 or 90 year old? How do we invent a world of long lived men and women in which we have meaning and purpose throughout our lives? We have a medical system that's very expensive that younger people wind up paying for, that older people receive. And so how do we create a better financial infrastructure for this wondrous era of longer life? The rate for people with Alzheimer's and related dementias over the age of 85 is one in two. And so as more and more of us live very long lives, unless we have a breakthrough to eliminate Alzheimer's disease, it will be the sinkhole of the 21st century into which we fall, our families fall, and the economy falls. How does a person reinvent themselves, you know? If you're 50 and you're winding up a career or perhaps a marriage hasn't worked, how do you Take a deep breath and turn yourself from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Essentially, give birth to the next version of themselves, which is going to be necessary if we're going to live these very long lives because one dream for life doesn't go the distance. You need to continue to reboot yourself and reimagine yourself along the way.